Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. Today we're making Pyro Snacks from League of Legends. Now I've made a sweet version of this on the channel before, but the actual recipe should be savoury. So I've made some changes and I think it turned out pretty well. So let me show you how to make it. To begin, we're going to take 75 millilitres of milk and warm it in the microwave just until it's lukewarm. To that, I'm then going to add 10 grams of unsalted butter. Mix that together and add in one teaspoon of instant yeast. Mix that together again and set the whole thing to the side for a moment. In a large bowl, I then mix together 125 grams of strong white bread flour with half a teaspoon of salt. I then poured in the milk mixture along with half an egg. We can use the other half later, so don't worry about that. Then I mixed everything till it came into like a rough dough, poured it out onto my work surface and then began kneading it. So this dough is very sticky at the start. Um, don't worry, that's fine. The longer you knead it, it will start to become more elastic and it will get less wet as the flour begins to hydrate. So just keep working at it and eventually you should get a dough that looks something like this. Nice and elastic and it no longer sticks to your hands when you touch it. We're going to prove this for two hours. So I placed it back into my bowl that I'd cleaned and then poured a bit of oil into. Covered it with cling film and then set it into my air and cupboard for two hours. The in-game description of the Poro Snacks says that it is a savoury blend of free-range grass-fed avarus and game hens and organic non-GMO Freljordian herbs. So I don't have grass-fed avarus and game hens or non-GMO Freljordian herbs, but I've got some substitutions I think work okay. So I'm going to use the best free-range chicken I could find, and then for the herbs I chose fennel and sage, specifically because both of these are able to survive in cold climates like the Freljord is, and they taste very good when combined with chicken. So to make this, I'm actually going to boil my chicken. This is something I actually learned from Ethan Chablowski. I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch his video. So for this recipe, I just brought a small pan of water to the boil, turned it down so it was just simmering, and added in two chicken thighs. After two or three minutes, I just turned off the heat completely, and then just let it sit for five or six minutes or so until it was cooked through thoroughly. And the reason we're doing this is because, uh, as Ethan says, this method is better for retaining moisture inside the chicken, so by doing this we're going to get nice juicy chicken. Anyway, once it had cooled, I put it onto a chopping board and then just shredded it with my knife, making it into smaller pieces so it's easier to incorporate into the poro snack. And I just put it in a bowl and set it in the fridge to cool until later on. After the two hours had finished, I took my dough out of the airing cupboard and it doubled in size. I then put it out onto my work surface and then rolled it into a large square. I don't remember the dimensions, but editor Jake will take a guess and put them on screen here for you. To make the filling, I put a large pan over medium heat and added about a tablespoon of oil and two tablespoons of butter and just heated that until it began to sizzle. Before we add our chicken, we're first going to put our herbs in. So I took six or seven sage leaves from our herb box and just sliced them in small pieces. And then I took about a quarter of a teaspoon of fennel seeds and again chopped that until it was into smaller pieces. I added both of these into the oil and butter and just fried them for a little bit. The smell of this is amazing, so just enjoy that. Take a second to enjoy that. I then added in the chicken and just continued to stir it together, bringing it up to temperature and making sure that every piece of chicken was coated with that nice herby butter. Just before the chicken is finished cooking, I added in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. This is essential, so we get that nice umami kind of savory flavor of the chicken. Once it was cooked and then cooled, I poured it over the dough rolled the dough into a spiral shape and then chopped out four pyro snacks. We're going to prove these for 30 minutes before we bake them, just so the dough is super fluffy. So I put all four pyro snacks into one pan, covered with cling film, and then put it back in my air and cover for about 30 minutes. About 15 minutes before the pyro snacks had finished proving, I preheated my oven to 180 degrees, so it'd be ready as soon as the dough had finished proving. Just before they go in the oven, I'm just going to top them with the final egg wash. This is what we use the other half an egg for. So just brush this with an egg wash so it's going to be nice and golden brown when they're finished. And once you've done that, just pop them in the oven for half an hour and they should be perfect. Here are the final Poro snacks. I was very happy with how these looked. Um, obviously it's not the exact same as the Poro snack icon in game, but this is the closest I've got. I think I did a pretty good job. These taste fantastic. I think they're definitely top three so far, um, depending on when you watch this video. But yeah, top three recipes that I've done up until this point. My family really enjoyed them as well. It was a nice sunny day, so I've got some, hopefully, um, cinematic shots from the garden. I'm still trying to work on my editing and uh, production skills, but there should be some nice cinematic shots, some good close-ups. The dough is super soft, and the chicken just tastes fantastic with that mix of fennel and sage. If I ever do get my own bakery, this is definitely going on the menu. I think it's like a fantastic lunch snack. There's got to be something like this in bakeries before, but I've never actually seen it. 
it just seems like something so simple like a savory cinnamon roll but i've never seen them before so if you guys know any, anywhere that sells something like this let me know and i'll have a little look but either way i hope you all enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time thank you very much for watching